The COVID-19 crisis is changing our life profoundly. And yes, there are terrible tragedies that have happened. Many people have died. And we wish those who are working on the cure the very best as you do that. But in the midst of all that's going on, there's some good news out there. And many people are starting to look at life in a different way. This is a golden opportunity for you to do a reboot on your life. Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and I get a chance to work with people around the world, many different places, talking about all kinds of uh, different things that are happening and what's going on and what we can do to take advantage of it. In marketing and technology, I do a lot of advising there. But there's something that's happening right now as a trend that is really interesting. Right now, as never before, people are working at home. People are working not necessarily at the office every day. And they're realizing, wait a minute, I'm getting the work done. We can use these tools like Zoom and Skype and other tools. I'm using one right now called Ecamm that's helping me with this. And then we're using platforms where we can make money like Hive, like Three Speak, putting good videos up on YouTube. There's a lot of opportunities and people are going, mm, maybe I don't need to live in a smaller place. I don't need to be there and have high taxes just to be in a place where well, let's face it, there have been some unpleasant riots and looting that have gone on. And look at cities like New York, Chicago, what's happening, Minneapolis, Seattle, and the types of things that are happening. Some people are stepping back going, I don't know if I want to raise a family here. I don't know if I want to live there. And then they, at the same time, they're going, hmm, I could be in some other place that might have a little bit better weather that doesn't have the high taxes, and I can operate from home with the right bandwidth. We could do it. It's something that I'm saying right now is a time for reconsidering, a reboot. I would encourage you to think about a reboot of what you're doing. Just this uh, morning, I got a newsletter that I subscribed to from Simon Black, and he talks about in his Sovereign Man program, something that's going on right now. He says, you know, if, look, if you look at it and what's happening right now, it's not likely that the cities are going to become ghost, town, ghost towns, but people who understand what's happening are really starting to consider new places to live. The arithmetic is quite simple. Someone can trade a $5,000 a month hamster cage in Manhattan for a 4,000 square foot home with water views and a spacious yard in sunny Florida and still have plenty of extra money left over with the added benefit that Florida has no state income tax. I live in Florida and that no state income tax, or as I like to say, a reasonable state income tax, zero is considered reasonable when it comes to taxes. And that's what we have here. The logic makes five places very interesting for prospective migrants. Texas, Florida, Nevada, Tennessee are four states with warm weather, plenty of wide open spaces, cheap living costs, access to big city amenities, and no state income tax. This is something to consider. And I would encourage you right now to use the tragedy that's going on and turn it into the positive. Be opportunistic on it. You know, an opportunist is often thought of as a negative way. You can take a bad situation and make the best of it. I love the way that Napoleon Hill said it, that a setback or a defeat carries with it the seed of equal or greater benefit. Use this time strategically to think about how can you take this and turn it around? Well, there's a couple things that you can do. Here's three steps that could be very handy for you. These three can give you what you need. Number one, I'd recommend that you talk about this. Talk about it with your family. Talk about it with your friends. Talk about it mainly with yourself. What is the right thing for you to do? Do you need to stay where you are? Can you get by without those long traffic jams when they come back? Can you get by without all that's there and the high taxes, congestion of where you might be living? If you are, and if you say, hey, I really like where I am, well, then good for you. You need to be where you want. Secondly, I would suggest strongly increase your bandwidth. Find out what you can do to get a little oomph, a little bit extra in your bandwidth. Because when we're doing some video work, we need a lot of that. Just uh, last week, I was working with someone, a friend of mine, giving her some help, doing some coaching, as I often do, on uh, where she is with technology, with marketing, and some areas like that. And uh, we weren't able to do the call because it kept breaking up. That voice phalanging, that kind of thing that happens. How's that for a technical term? <laughs> but it, we couldn't hear it very well. And we wanted to make sure that it was real good. So she called her cable company and they're in the process of putting in a higher standard of bandwidth for them so they can get a little bit better. By the way, 
hot tip, most important on Zoom, Skype, and things like that is your upload speed because that's the video and audio that you're sending to the rest of us. When you're watching Netflix, when you're watching uh, YouTube videos, yes, it's download speed. But the other way it's flipped over, you want upload speed. Pay attention to that. I would also then suggest that you use this time to really step back, reset your life. Think about what's important to you. What are the kinds of ways that you want to live the rest of your life? What do you want to do? And would it be possible using the technology that we have, the way the world is operating today, recognize it and be alert. Be realistic on what's going on. And hey, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this and let me know what your thoughts are regarding what we should do, how we should go about doing it, and what could be right for you. If you want to leave some comments below, wherever you're getting this on the internet, would love to hear from you on that. I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com and thank you very much for joining me.